Yo yo, YouTubers! Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow! Um, last time we just cleared through Mount Moon, pretty much. And we are now in Cerulean City. A true blue town, I gotta say. And you may be wondering, what else are we doing in front of this house here? Well, in here we're going to get a new member of the team. As you can see, we got an Oddish, a Sandshrew, and up there we got ourselves a Bulbasaur. One of the original starter Pokemon. So, so this lady takes care of injured Pokemon, nerfs Bulbasaur back to health, and it needs a good trainer. And what? And, we're, and is now asking us if we would take care of it. Of course we will. So now we got a new permanent team member, Bulbasaur. And I already have a nickname planned out for this guy. If you've seen the first movie, you may remember this. So as you see, the sidebar has changed, and we have our new member, Bulbasaur, also also known for this LP as Root Root. Yeah, first movie reference. Whatever. So, the way you get Bulbasaur is to make sure that, that your Pikachu is very happy with you. Um, if it's not happy the first time you visit here, the best thing to do is to just give it potions over and over. Even if it's at full health, it works. As far as I know. So let's explore this place a bit. Over here is a bike shop. Which, which the guy never sell you a bike for a million Poké Dollars. And sadly, you can't even hold that much, so... Yeah, you can't really get the bicycle yet. There's the Pokémon up there. And of course, up this way is the Pokémon Gym. I'm gonna hold off going to the gym for a while, since... Well, there are a few things we need to take care of first. Now, speaking of which, I'm gonna be doing... Uh, actually, wait a minute. And in here, this guy will tell you about all eight badges, um, what they do, and so on. Won't tell you who the gym leaders are, but yeah. Now, somewhere over here... Well, what do you know? First place I check. A hidden rare candy. And this may seem kind of dumb, but... Eh, why not? I want to get Root Root leveled up a bit. And up didn't learn any new moves yet. So in that case, looks like I will do some off-screen training for the moment, so... I'll see you guys in just a moment. And we're back! Um... Didn't really take long, I just needed Root Root to level up enough so it'll learn a new move. And that new move is Vine Whip, a grass-type move. Um... I'm not sure in first generation if it has a high critical hit ratio or not. I know Razor Leaf does, but... Vine Whip, not quite so sure. We'll soon see. Anyway, make, um, off, um, off screen after all the training, I also um, saw the Pokeball, um, Escape Ropes, and um, TMO4, which is Whirlwind, um, for some extra money to buy some more potions, because up ahead, we're gonna see an old face again. Look who it is, if it isn't the Master of Random, Four Sword Meta Knight. Struggling along. <laughs> Oh yeah? Bring it on. Okay, so now we're going into the third battle against the rival. Um, if you did not take the optional battle ba back um, past Ver Verdian City, then this is technically the second battle. Okay, he starts out with Spearow level 18. Recommend have Pikachu up front. Easy as pie. Okay, his next Pokémon, Sandshrew. This is why I need a Bulbasaur to level up. Now, Sandshrew would be slightly faster, I believe. Bulbasaur isn't known for its speed, but... Yeah, and using Sand Attack. Oh, come on, already? Will you quit spamming that move? There, how do you like that? Hmm, about half health, that's good. One more hit and it's down. HA! Sand attack fail, buddy boy. Sand attack fail. Okay, and next, Rattata. I think this is the only time he'll have a Rattata on his team, I'm not sure. No, wait, come think of it as the next battle he has it. Never mind. Okay, setting in Port Town. <coughs> Excuse me. Mmm, I'm gonna use Stun Spawn on this thing just to slow it down. 
And what luck, paralysis hit. So, the rival's a little bit of a challenge, but wow, did I get lucky with paralysis or what? Except for quick attack, of course. Anyway, the rival's a little bit challenging if you're underleveled, as I sort of am. Maybe. But, he shouldn't be that much a problem. Alright, Chuck, time for a rematch against Eevee. What do you know, they're equal level, too. This will be a fun match. Just considering I got Mega Punch on my side now. Stronger move. But apparently not by much. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Uh-huh, that hurt all right. Oh, come on, Chuck, you can hit that. No, oh, not you two. Sand attack. Ugh. Oh, for Pete's sake, come on. Give me a break here. Alright, that's more like it. And the rival is down. Of course I did. I have to win. So I went to this Bill's place to show him his rare Pokemon, added a few pages to his Pokedex, blah blah blah. World's biggest maniac invented the storage system, blah blah blah. Smell me later, huh? I'll smell you right next week. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the Poké Center and uh, heal up. Alright, now up ahead is Nugget Bridge. Here you have to fight five trainers, uh, not all at once, thank goodness. And you will get a fabulous prize, apparently. Um, I will be tackling all five of these trainers in this part, but to save time, I'm gonna be speeding up the whole thing until we um, get to the end, so... Away we go! That's what I just said. It's a lucky thing I healed Porta at the last moment. See how that speeding up is over. So we beat the five trainers on Nugget Bridge. Thank goodness. And we beat the five trainers. And our 
surprise, a nugget. The nugget? You can't really do anything with it, other than selling it for a lot of money. You can sell these things for 5,000 Poké Dollars, and that is a lot of cash. Team Rocket? Eh, no thanks, I'll pass. Nope. 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 I refuse. Another rocket grunt bites the dust. Top leader? I'll pass. Okay, we cleared Nugget Bridge and beat the rival again. And I think we're gonna end things off here, so... Next time Pokemon Yellow, we will we will venture further forward to meet Bill and uh, hopefully find ourselves another team member. So, until next time, YouTubers, on that note, I take my leave.